are up in Mass at the Granville State Forest. Just doing a little hiking today. Seeing what's up and out here. This is very unique looking. Almost like a little indentation on the ground. See how it's indented? It's like a round area, almost like a seat. And it overlooks this very beautiful stream area. Very, very high up. Almost like a sheer drop over here. A nice stream. Again, there's the indentation right there. Okay, back on the trail, let's head out deeper. It's starting to look real eerie. Kind of passed through the little campground area, and now we're staying on the main trail that goes really far out back into the backside of the campground. It gets real wild back in here just because it goes straight back for a couple miles. It's in the middle of nowhere, there's no houses out here. It's just a, a huge green belt that runs down through Massachusetts and through Connecticut, part of Connecticut. Let's see what this trail has to offer. Sometimes making a little noise will actually draw something that's curious over to check you out. I'm amazed with how big this area is and how beautiful it looks right now in the winter. I've actually had a couple stories given to me of some campers in this area having some very strange interactions with something out here, that's all I'm going to say. And until we do a little more digging and researching, can't really say what exactly it is out here, but there's something strange out in these woods. And as I keep making more videos, I'll keep revealing more information little by little to fill everyone in on what's going on right in their backyards, basically. And it also seems like it's a big cover-up of some song. They want people to continue coming out here and having a good time and spending money. Just doing a little research last night on the computer and I'll be honest I was blown away that 53% of North America is unexplored and uninhabited so that means that a little more than half of this continent is still unexplored and is woods and only about I think it was 23% <clears throat> is classified as residential neighborhood. It just, it, it, people just fail to understand how much woods is out there. Wow, 
Wow, this place is beautiful. I think I'm gonna go back and try to hit the trail over there. Oh, here we go. It's a good thing I have these cleats on because it is very, very slippery. And I think I can hear a uh, stream coming up. So it's really cool over here. This is what I heard. This is raging water. drop off. Basically a sheer drop. Very cool. walking away from that watering hole right there and what a beautiful spot
trail basically does a massive loop through this state park. And this time of the year, it's just beautiful. Not many people. Nice and quiet. You can hear tons of wildlife and water flowing. Excuse me. It's real cold, my nose is running a lot. Also, my main purpose of this channel is to bring the beauty of nature to people who cannot access these beautiful areas as easily as others. So if you could please share this with others who you think might like these wilderness videos and I'm going to keep navigating through as much nature as I can. And if anyone has any ideas for me to go explore somewhere and film, just let me know. And I'll be sure to add it to my list of places to go check out. I'm willing to go anywhere that anybody suggests if they cannot get there themselves. Obviously within limitations. <clears throat> Look at all these pine trees, how tall they are and in formation. Makes it really easy to see a four-legged animal because their body sits horizontally for a, a moment and then they have their legs and that's how you can spot them along with their silhouette standing out in the snow. Still quite a bit of greenery for animals to eat here. Lots of places to explore in here. What the heck is all this snow doing in the middle of the road? Well, this is strange. Hmm. Right after I said this is strange, I definitely heard some wood knocking. Maybe if you have headphones, you can hear it. I'm gonna keep going, that was kinda spooky. Wow, that was strange. I'm 
starting to get a strange feeling now too. Almost like I'm being watched. This tree over here, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. Starting to get far out and looking for different shapes and just different oddities that look indifferent than normal nature. Or maybe we'll see some deer or anything. I'm just going to keep going, but I'm sort of hearing some faint knocking or some sort of a, like a boo, 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 boo sound. I don't know if it's a stomp, a knock, an animal. But seeing as I'm by myself exploring, I'm just going to continue. Wow, look at that tree. That's amazing. This has a lot of potential for exploration. There's all sorts of cool trees and rock ledges, probably new caves. Waterfalls, streams. See a lot of really cool rocks. I'm gonna wait to come back and explore with somebody else. With all the 411 missing people, I don't really go too far off trail by myself. I'll go out walking around, obviously with protection, but it's always good to have somebody else with you.
and also a uh, GPS locator device unit as well as a firearm something to protect yourself and if you're not aware of who David Paulitis is he is doing research into a, a huge phenomena of missing people and there's a age group and there's certain criteria involved with these cases that all have something in common and it's the most bizarre cases that you will ever read or listen about but if you look up David Paulitis missing 411 you'll be intrigued for days and watch lots of videos about it check it out Don't let this gate fool you, we're still very far off the road. In the middle of the woods, it's just a road that runs through. These falls are beautiful over here. Lots of water. We'll come back in the spring when this is raging and it's beautiful. Now we've actually gotten to another park, walking through the woods for a few miles. And we're gonna head down this back road in the middle of nowhere and see what we see alongside of the road. Sometimes there'll be a lot of interesting things. vehicle coming by right now. Some quads. Very cool. Let's look at that one up on top. These guys are going to have some fun out in the woods. One more thing before I get back to the Jeep. This one tree here always interested me. It's laying here with the root ball up in the air. But the tree, you cannot find where the root ball came from. I think it came from down there somewhere. But it looks like, hold on, there's a car going by. It looks like the root ball is just sitting there and there's no holes anywhere. But there's a lot of other weird stuff in this area that I can't explain. 
That's why I love hiking over here. But we're about to be back at the Jeep now. Half of our six mile hike was in the deep woods. And half of it was on this back country road. It's in the middle of nowhere. Very rarely do cars go by. One just happened to go by and was looking at me strange. But until next time, we'll see you later. Bye bye. Oh, look at little X. So much random little things. Just so happens to be a little marker right by this road with an X across the street. Almost like a travel corridor. They come right through and enter over here and they watch. They, like I know what I'm talking about. I don't know what's going on. Something. You guys have a wonderful day. And remember, try to get in the woods as much as you can. That's where all the interesting stuff happens. Be safe out there, my friends. Peace.